Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about sending your pre-orders to the printers or to production. If you have a store set up and you've been collecting orders through it, then this video is for you. If all you want to do is order books and get them sent to your school or to your, um, your group and you haven't been collecting orders online, then there's another video for, for, for that. In this video, uh, we're going to assume that you've gotten all your orders collected uh, through your store, or maybe you had offline orders at the school and you've, you've um, purchased those as well and put those into your pre-order queue and you're ready to send them off to the printers, get them printed and shipped to your school. There's a couple of different ways you can do this in Creator Studio. Um, I'll just show you the first way briefly and that is through the store itself. If you go to the Sell tab, and you go to manage sales on the, on the book that you're talking about here. Um, in this particular book, I have only have two orders, but of course you would assume you have more. And down here under submit to production, uh, you would follow these steps uh, and, and do it that way. Um, we will eventually get to this point, but I want to bring uh, your attention to another way of doing this. Uh, which might be better just because you do have to go in, into the project uh, to to complete this process so in the from the create tab find your project and open it up and from here i can see I, there's those two orders um, and so i'm going to assume i have all my orders ready and i'm going to uh, send these to the printer so i will click on finalize an order from the top and this is my checklist uh, I will need to follow to get everything completed before I can submit it to production. So if we look first here, book has 20 more pages, or 20 or more pages, yes. Book ends on even page, page number, yes. There are no blank pages or covers. This is a test project, so it actually does have some blank pages, but normally you wouldn't want this. But if you did want blank pages in your project for whatever reason, we do allow that, we do allow you for to, to continue to order. And this is just letting you know you do have blank pages. All pages and covers are locked, so that is no here. So that's the next step to follow. So I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock all of my pages. I am currently in a ladder-based book. You might be in a section-based book. In a section book, you go down to the, the section module and click on lock and then follow those steps, which will be the same steps once I go to my, my ladder in the ladder book and click on lock, lock all. Now this is telling me again, okay, we need to make sure you've got 20 or more pages and there's no blank pages, uh, but I can continue anyway. What this will do is send you a proof of your book. It's a PDF of all the pages in your book and you're, you're going to review that and make sure everything looks good and once you approve that then you can continue to order. So I'm going to lock spreads and send proof. So it's going to lock everything. Now all my book is locked and I should be getting an email uh, with that PDF. Uh, that it will take a, may take a while to generate that PDF and get sent to you, maybe a few minutes, maybe a few hours. Uh, so be patient with that, look for that, and then come back here once you have that. Okay, assuming you've got the email and you reviewed the proof from there, you can go back to Creator Studio, click on Finalize and Order, and we can see here all pages are now locked. The proof generated shows the date and time, when it was generated, you can click this link to open up the PDF again or review it for the first time from here. And now you're ready to approve the proof by checking this box that you've reviewed it and approve it. And uh, we don't have any unused ads here in this book. There are no parent ads being used here. And now I am ready uh, to submit this to production. Now there's still another thing I could do and that is add more books to my order. Uh, maybe I have books uh, that were ordered offline at the school and I can add those books to the whole group of books that will be sent to production. Um, so I would need to pay for those books somehow 
um, at checkout or by an invoice and you can see the other videos about that. So I could click add books to order to um, do a separate order of books to add those to the queue or I can go ahead and continue to submit to production. Clicking this button here will take you to the store dashboard and down below here where I had started the video from is that submit to production area where it had that checklist where we just went through and this button to submit to production. So now we're ready to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click submit to production. There may be a pop up that comes up here just warning you that, hey, um, you are ordering before your, the deadline that you had set. My deadline here is May 20th, 2022. If you are ordering, if you're submitting to production before the date that you had entered for your order deadline, you'll get this warning. Uh, just because there may be parents out there who are thinking they have until May 20th to order, and now that you're submitting to production, uh, you won't be able to get those orders from them. So just be aware of that date that you set um, and go ahead and continue if you need to. Okay, so now this next step is to review the order itself. I ha it shows a breakdown of the orders. I have two hardcovers ordered here. Obviously, there'd be a lot more orders. And if it's available to you, you can um, uh, view shipping here or change the shipping um, or upgrade it. And then the total that is due. And you can see here that I had a, a balance of 13.22 in profit from these two books. These selling these two books at a markup gave me $13.22 profit on that. $6.74 of that uh, was taken out to pay for shipping, and that that gives me $6.48 left for as my profit, money that I would get, not that I would owe, because it's in green. So clicking next here, now I'll, I'm being asked, how do you want to get this $6.48? Do you want it sent as a check? And checks are sent out every February and September, and there's a 10% processing fee for doing that. And it just confirms that the address and name are correct for uh, where that check is sent to. Or you can donate your profit to the Yearbooks for Everyone Fund, and you can learn more about that by clicking on Learn More. So I'm going to choose Send Me a Check. If you do owe money on the order, you'll have a negative number here in the order review. Go ahead and click Next and see how you can pay for this order. You can choose to pay with credit card or PayPal here. And when you finish submitting to production is when you will enter your payment information or click on send me an invoice check that the financial contact is correct and it will email them uh, an invoice that they can then pay so once the order is sent to production the book will be unpublished from your store if you choose this unpublish option you can also choose this option which allows the book to remain available for purchase, except instead of it being put into a queue for you to then release to production later, it takes the order from the, the customer and ships it directly to them. It sends it directly to the printer and ships directly to the, the customer purchasing the book. So if you want to do that, you can make that an option there. I'm going to just unpublish it for now. Click Next. And then finally, you click Submit to Production. That sends off the books to the printer. You'll be notified. You'll get an invoice for any money that's due. And that's it.